Hey y'all, it's Liz and this is Lit Looks by Liz. So today I'm going to be doing a review and a wear test on the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. So this is a drugstore foundation and it's an oldie but a goodie, question mark. What do you think? Y'all comment below. <laughs> this foundation has been around for many, many years and I haven't tried a lot of foundations, very few. So I'm excited to try it out and see how it works for my skin. So there are actually two types of this foundation. There is a matte version and a dewy version. And I actually have dry skin, so you would think I would go for the dewy version. However, I really like a matte finish. So that's what we're going for today. And yeah, when I have a little bit more money, I will try the dewy one and maybe I'll do a review of it on my channel if y'all are interested. If you are, just make sure you comment below. I just haven't had the opportunity to try a lot of foundations, um, whether that be money, which has always been a struggle, but hey, <laughs> are real. <laughs> I haven't had the opportunity, so here it begins. I'm going to start trying new foundations out, see what's like my favorite, what like feels better on my skin, what my skin needs more versus, you know, what I'm giving it. It's a whole path that I'm walking. So if you want to walk that path with me, then definitely don't forget to, um, yeah, like subscribe to my channel. We're going to get right into the video now. Stay tuned. All right. So I have actually already done my skin prep. So I'm going to put this headband on to protect my hair. So I've already done my skin prep, but I haven't primed my face. I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Um, as you can see, I like this a lot. Um, it's really hyped up, but like it follows through. I definitely recommend it. And I am going to be putting this foundation on the same way that I put my normal foundation on. So I'm going to put a primer on, I'm going to color correct, and then I will apply it like I normally would apply my foundation. And in case y'all are curious, my go-to foundation at the moment is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. It's so pretty. <laughs> As you can tell in the name of it, it is a little bit more sheer, but you can build up the coverage. So that's what I really like about it. And it matches my skin tone perfectly. So we're gonna go ahead and prime. All right, so now that my skin is looking extra. So now that I have put that primer on, I'm going to, I'm gonna let it set for a second, do my brows off camera, and then I will put on the color correcting for my like little red spots, and then we'll put on the foundation. All right, so now I'm gonna take my wet beauty blender that I use for my color correcting, and I'm going to tap real light in those green areas to diffuse them and blend them into my skin more and then we can put the foundation on top. Okay, so we're gonna go into the foundation now. So I did get the color 110 porcelain and uh, the store that I went into and just kind of like decided to buy it they only had a certain amount of shades so I got the lightest one and we're gonna try it out I'm just gonna take this brush and put the foundation on my face like I normally would Now we are going to take my foundation brush. It looks like this might be a little too yellow, but we're gonna do our best and see. Thank you. 
I'm gonna use my beauty blender now and just tap on top of this, blend it in a little bit more and trying to kind of push it into the skin. So you don't have to do this step. You can most certainly skip it. However, I just feel like it makes my foundation look so much smoother. So this is what we're working with. It is a little bit too yellow for me. However, it really doesn't look bad in this mirror. So I'm gonna just move forward. How it feels, I would say like it really doesn't feel heavy on my face. I think the finish is pretty. Uh, it is coming out kind of like medium to full coverage for me. But yeah, I think we'll see. So I'm actually going to go finish my makeup now and then I will come back and give you my thoughts and then I will wear it to work and I will do check-ins with you. And then tonight when I get home, I'll do a quick little check-in on how I felt about it all day. So if you've made it to this part of the video, thank you so much for watching and uh, continue on for the rest of the review. All right, y'all, this is the finished look. I think that the foundation ended up matching really well and it looks great with the rest of my makeup. So this, this might be, this might be a good one. <laughs> so I am about to head to work. I'm actually running behind a little bit, but I will do some check-ins with y'all on how the foundation is wearing and yeah, love y'all. So I finished at like two and it's about four o'clock now. It looks pretty good. So it is now about 5.30 and this is how the makeup is looking. Still looks pretty good. I had to leave work early because I cut my finger open. Yay! So I'm now at urgent care and I'm gonna get it taken care of. So I will check in with y'all after that. So it is about eight o'clock and this is how my makeup is looking. Um had quite the day between cutting my finger, them not taking me at urgent care, and then just gluing it myself. So, stressful day, and you know what? I still look cute. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I really like this foundation, and I think it might be a, another go-to. I was so exhausted by the end of the day that it was hard for me to give my final thoughts. So I wanna give y'all those now. Um, I really love the way the foundation laid on my skin the whole day, even through work and having to wear a mask at urgent care there for a minute. Uh, my makeup didn't move around or smudge at all. The color ended up working perfectly as well, even though I thought it was going to be a little too yellow. It wasn't. I am really excited to try the Dewey version next. Thank y'all so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content every week. I love y'all. All right.